All right, if everything goes well, I'll be posting this video soon. Uh, it is a little after one o'clock on Tuesday. After protecting the property for 30 hours, Dad and I are heading out, hearing a lot of bad stories around us. We think we spotted a spot fire at Vineyard 7 and 8, uh, but we're just completely exhausted. Uh, fire crews don't work as long as we have. Um, heard that Barron's is on fire and that's slipping into Keenan. So let's see what we see as we head down. Looks like we got a fire at Williams. That's a good sign. The County Public Works is coming up, so hopefully our road is clear. Williams House is still there. It's really hard to tell because we're just so thick in smoke. I think one of the hardest things is just a lot of rumors and speculations going around the neighborhood over the phone. Passing the entrance to Togni now. So one of the rumors was the fire had jumped the road and was in La Coya. I do see some grass burnt along their fence line and private fire prevention on site. Just got a little, oh yeah, here we go. We got some trees going. Oh man, so hot the guardrail fell off. Sorry, you can't probably see that. I'll keep going up front. So we have La Coya to my right. Uphill is Philip Togni. This is just bad. I don't know whose property this is, but they always did a good job of keeping it nice and clean. It wasn't a vineyard, it was just open field for the most part. So far, it's looking a lot like what Dad and I observed last night. It was mostly staying below like, oh, hello. Looks like we've got something going on up at Keenan. <laughs> the shame is, this is where Dad and Jerry and I put out a car fire a couple years ago. <laughs> open my uh, sunroof and see if I can scene coming up looks like the older Gantner home is gone. Oh. 
we're out. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thanks. This is Ron from Sonoma County Fire. I went on a uh, go left, Dad, go left. Lines down, go left. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I gotta focus where I'm driving, but I'm trying to see if John and Nancy's place is standing. John and Nancy, I'm sorry, I don't think your home is there. Yeah, John and Nancy, I'm sorry. Okay, we're past Lang Tree. couple of weeks I've been ever since those lightning strikes I've been looking at some of this land around here a lot of fallen trees a lot of decades old duff and I'm like who owns this land and how can we get it cleaned up this is gonna torch someday and Fire kills glassy and sharpshooter. Here's Eden Vineyard. Uh, don't know if you saw that, but went down the covered rock. But for the most part, it looks like their vineyard survived to grow another day. Some singe coming up here on the right. Dad almost hit that line down. He's got to go hard left. Good, he's clear. Torch vines up on the right there at Eden. There's Fern Rock. Looks like Cal Fire made good use of their reservoir. If I sound very emotional, Dad and I were up all night watching this go but we couldn't see it for the trees. All it was was an orange glow to us.
Another line down on the left. Fern Rock is scorched. praying that our property avoids this Irony. I had a few free hours on Saturday and washed my car. No going up there. Can they come down their other way? That's a two way driveway. Oh, these two twins. Oh, redwoods are strong. Thank you. Okay. Got the county out here already working on cleaning the road up. God love them. Thank you.
those winds kick up again tonight, it's going to be a long night. So it's going to be nice to know that we can get fire crews up and down this road. I don't think I have seen a single inch of guardrail coming down that was not scorched and fallen. survived. So it looks like we may be coming out of it as we dip closer into town, but I know Spring Mountain Winery was pretty hard hit, so we'll be focusing a little bit to our right. But you know what? Look, still, we've just got flame in the middle of the road. saw going off last night so Peacock and Fantesca are up to the left thing is there's so much going on there was no air support all day today I know we're about to come into town and I don't want to be doing this in front of the police and sheriff so once we pass the entrance of Spring Mountain Road I'm going to wrap up For those of you who know this road know how close we're coming to our home which Paul and Megan evacuated it too last last night, so hoping to be able to get in and get a few things. So it looks like most of the Spring Mountain Winery buildings are okay. <laughs> <laughs> 